In this video, we're going to see how a moving coil microphone works. The idea is pretty simple. I've stuck a coil of copper wire onto a plastic sheet above a neodymium magnet. Then when I hit the piece of plastic with a tuning fork, it makes the plastic vibrate, which makes the coil vibrate, which, because it's moving relative to the magnet, induces a potential difference, which, as you can see, is an alternating one, which is displayed on the oscilloscope. The coil in a real moving coil microphone will be a lot lighter, as would the diaphragm, and therefore a sound wave travelling through the air could make it vibrate in the same way that touching the tuning fork with it does in my video. This is a good way to illustrate the principle of the moving coil microphone, but it's obviously not a great moving coil microphone. These stills from the video show how, as I go from a lower frequency tuning fork to a higher frequency tuning fork, that the time period gets shorter. To make this demonstration, I made a coil of 50 turns of wire, and it was enameled copper wire of 0.2 millimeter diameter. That coil was then stuck down using sticky back plastic to a thin plastic sheet, and then I connected the two ends of my coil to the oscilloscope, and I put the oscilloscope on the most sensitive volts per division, which was five millivolts in my case, and I was using two milliseconds per square on the time base. Underneath the plastic sheet to which the coil is stuck, I've inserted a neodymium magnet, and then I've got a tuning fork which I bang on a rubber bung, which I can then touch onto the plastic sheet to make it vibrate. I hope this video has inspired you to have a go at this demonstration yourself.